What is going on, everyone? Welcome to the Thai Live channel. I'm Min Thai, and in this podcast today, I want to talk to you about when it comes to wearing artificial nails or any type of adhesive nail extensions, such as acrylic, poly gel, gel press, hard gel, soft gels. Do these methods ruin your natural nails? Do they really damage your natural nails? Because there's a lot of people who believe that they do. And that's why they don't get these service done. Me, I've been doing nails for 20 years. From my experience, I believe there's two factors in damaged nails. One of them is the individual, the client, you, and the nail tech. Because not all nail techs practice the same. Before we start the show, you know how we like to get down. Uh, uh, it's Monday. Let's get it. Jam. Mm, pump. Uh, 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 uh. Let's calm down real quick, y'all. I usually get a little bit excited for the introduction. So, let me break it down to you. Artificial nails, if it really damaged the natural nails, why would it be such a blooming career? that takes in billions of dollars in tax revenue. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of nail tech. That's a lot of set of nails. However, from years and years of seeing clients coming in, getting the nails done, I have seen so many clients walks in with damaged nails. And there's a lot of factor when I say it comes to the individual. Do you know that so many people have anxiety problem, stressful life, nervousness, social anxiety? And you know what they do? They bite their nails. They put their hand in their mouth. They pick at their cuticles. They create all these bad habits that causes the nail to look horrible. And when I say horrible, I mean they're not just biting the tip of their nail. They're biting all the way until the skin of the nails roll over. That's tough. And then you get some people who are born with paper thin nails. Yes. Their nails are so thin that they're like paper. Flimsy. You can bend it backward. And then you get clients who just have dramatic cuticle growth. To the point where the moment you cut their cuticles, you clean them up. Three days later, they grow out like roots again. And you know what? Those individuals right there, they can't change their habit. They can't control what they can't control. But what they can do is bring themselves to the nail salon and get the nails done. To get something that is shiny, artsy, beautiful, on their nails, shiny, so that it can cover up the flaw of the nail. That's what artificial nail is for. It's for you to make Something that's damaging looking to beautiful looking. Just like when you're wearing clothes. You don't want to see anybody walking around naked, do you? You want them to dress up, put some nice pants on, some nice shirt on. If none of us wears clothes, we're going to see flaws in everybody. And that's why we put on clothes. Same thing with the nails. The nail need clothes. Because... When the nails are naked, it's not presentable. So now, that is the individual situation. 
earlier, I also mentioned nail tech. Because when that individual walk into the nail salon, they don't know who is the nail tech that's doing their nails. And to me, that is also important. Because if you get a nail tech that just cuts corner in terms of using the bad chemical, not filing your nail right, not cleaning up you right, not prepping you right, that can also damage your nails. Now, when you pick a nail tech, you're probably wondering, like, well, then how do you know which nail tech is good? Nowadays, a lot of the nail tech are on social media. You definitely want to check them out or you get a referral. A lot of times, when you walk in, you don't know who's good or bad. So it's a 50-50. You either get a good one or a bad one. But at the end of the day, it is important that the nail tech takes matters seriously when it comes to protecting the nails. Like, for example, myself, when a client walks in with damaged nails, let's say they got beat up cuticles. I know the first thing I have to do is clean the cuticles. Vice versa, there's a lot of nail tech out there. They just train to go in with the tips and apply, and then boom, you got nails on. Care less about cuticles. Because to me... I'm not just here to look at the nail. I'm here to look at the hands. I want the hands, the cuticles, and the nail to be perfectly matched. You know what I mean? So I have to care like that. And that's how you've got that right nail tech. On top of that, me, when I look at artificial nails, I have a goal for my client. When my client walks in the door with damaged nail, I explain to them, here is our goal. According to what I'm looking at, your nails, it is short. We need to grow them out. You do have strong nails. So I analyze the nail. I test their strength. I feel their nail so that I can set goals for my client. And when you have a nail tech who is setting goal for you, then you know that's a badass nail tech. You know that nail tech's the one you want to go to. So to answer your question, how do you know that nail tech's the one? Is because when that nail tech really cares about their job and really care about your well-being of growing your natural nail out, they're going to take the time to explain it to you, the method, the route, the steps. Because that's what I do. And that's how you find yourself a good nail tech. Because when you got a good nail tech, they can help your nail grow beautifully, naturally. Because a lot of my nail tech right now, as we are speaking, they all have overlay. If you don't know what an overlay is, when all your natural nail has grown to the length that you want, you just have a nice shield of acrylic over or any type of hard gel, soft gel, etc. But the main thing is you got to protect the client's nail as a nail technician. Because at the same time, if the, client, if the nail tech protects the client's nails, they're going to keep coming back to them. It works both ways. But to answer your question, does artificial nails damage the natural nails? It also depends on you. Because if you have a good nail technician that's doing the job correctly, it's also how you take care of your artificial nail when you leave the salon. Because if you... Walk out of the salon and you start doing all kind of stuff with your nails. Of course, it's going to get damaged. And especially nowadays, all the new generation, I know you guys love getting your brand new set of nails. But you know what? You got to have the right nail tech who removed the acrylic nails good. Because if you guys are just at home biting it off, pressing it off, try to dig it off. You can damage your nail that way too. Imagine the professional nail tech nowadays, they are using some really good bonding chemical. Everything is on top of the line. It's going to be very hard for you to take off that acrylic and you're going to damage it by just ripping it off. So it really matters how you take care of yourself and your nails to prevent all the damage. And I know you get stories like, oh, I went to this salon and they damaged my nail. 
You cannot say that salon damaged your nail. You got to think about all the rhymes and reason behind it. Because let's even say they put a set of nails on for you. And you just let it grow out naturally. It won't damage your nail. But if you start picking at it, then it can damage your nail. However, you can get bad nail tech who makes bad practice. In turn, they're not good at the filing. They damage your nail. They're taking your nail off too hard by just slicing off the tip. There's so many rhymes and rhymes. That's why you got to find the right nail tech. And that's why you got to learn how to take care of yourself. Not bite your nails. Those two right there is going to protect your nail. You cannot blame on artificial nails. Artificial nail is there to make you look beautiful, feels good. It's not there to damage you. But how you take care of it is what's going to make a difference in how your nail is managed. Just like when you buy a brand new car. It's how you take care of your car after you drive off the lot. The car is not going to take care of itself. It's how you're going to do it. Same thing with your nails. The moment us nail tech put a beautiful set of nails on for you, it's how you do things. If you walk out and you start digging dirt, you and you and there's a lot of clients out there who loves getting, they, they even claim, y'all, they'll be like, oh, yeah, you know, I, I pop bottles with my nails. I pop bottles with my nails. And, yeah, you know what? I I shoot with my nails. I dig holes with my nails. I poke ass with my nails. Yeah, if you're going to do all of that, you're really going to damage your nails. But at the end of the day, it's all about self-care, y'all. It's all about how well you take care of your nails. Remember, nails are not tools. They are jewels. And if you take care of them right, you're going to have long-lasting jewels. Simple as it, y'all. I hope I clear out the air for y'all because that was about to get intensified up in here. Thank you so much for watching. Y'all. Uh, get it. Get it. Uh, Monday, yeah. Get it. Have a good one, y'all. Enjoy the rest of the week. Mm, 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 mm. Thank you for watching. I'm getting so excited.